the, the front of the lower limb is quite similar to the back effleurage because the muscles are going up and down, yeah? And um, we have the feet, which we'll do another class, but I will touch on. The leg doesn't have a lot of muscles on the front. It has the bone here, and on the lateral side, there is one muscle. Remember its name? No. No. Tibialis anterior. It's on the tibia, it's in the front, yeah? Good. And in here, which muscle in the front we have? <coughs> Quadriceps. Yeah, good. We have sartorius <coughs> and iliotibial band oh and adductor muscles. Yeah. And that's the majority of it. Yeah? Okay. Draping, the same technique. You're taking that to the side and then tuck it under on the other side. Okay? So... Let's take some oil. So, very similar to the back. A lot of effleurage that is quite long. So, a lot of leg work. Now, do I work with effleurage upward or downward, or only upward, or only downward? More upward, yes, because I drain the circulation. Now, if I do deep work, I can work slowly downward, because the aim is not swifting all the fluid. Do you understand the rationale and the difference? The yes, when I manipulate the muscles and I do that, it doesn't matter if I go a little bit down. When I do effleurage, then I want to drain the whole leg. Okay. So, I can do some work on the feet, but as I've said, um, I would leave it, yeah? And we'll do it next weekend, because next weekend we do feet and uh, palm, and scalp. Um, yeah? we, um, we haven't done any of the arms? No. Okay, yeah. so we'll, we'll do. Okay, so starting with, um, starting with tibialis anterior. Now, the thing is, do you see that the leg is quite laterally rotate? Mm -hmm. So it's quite hard to get into the, to the muscles on the outside. What you want to do maybe is to turn it Hold it here, and then you can massage it with knuckles. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is tibialis anterior, or you can do the whole of uh, the leg, and then getting into the bigger chunk is on the thigh. So working on the, um, on the thigh, you can do pretty much like the back, petrissage. Yeah. Ringing this figure of eight. You can do the base of the arm, the base of the palm, petrissage on the lateral side, going upward. Tender a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. So I'll start slowly down, slowing it down, <coughs> or use my finger knuckles okay I find an area that is tender <coughs> I'd, I would stay a little bit there now I don't do quite deep because I've realized that it's quite tender yeah so right away you you know on which domain you work is it deep work can I work on the forearm here I don't because it's too much how did you know it was tender I looked at his you face. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it didn't feel, didn't feel the pee. Can you little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Little bit. But to tell you the truth, everything is subjective. Don't wait for a green light to say, <laughs> and not, or not. Because there is nothing like that. Some people you go and see, wow, my God, what's that? They say, I don't know, I don't feel anything. And on some others, you just go and you don't feel anything. You say, wow, did you feel it? So. 
it's quite subjective. So you work slowly. Can I go deep? Mm. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> it was interesting. It was interesting because one second, yes, the applicant out, no, and that's how that's how it is, and we have to be attentive all the time to really feel these small changes happening and where exactly it is. <laughs> so you know, you stay there a little bit, you change. Maybe you can do a bit of movement. And then after that, a bit more effleurage, and you continue, yeah? Okay, uh, adductor muscles. A lot of petrissage. A lot of tension usually around the knee, on, on the adductor muscles, yeah, in here. Yes, yes, the fingers. Yeah. You want to come around, but what I do is just finger kneading. Yeah. Now it is the, the the it's just too much for me to go and do that. It doesn't need it really. It doesn't really need it. Yeah. Here on the quads, I know that some people would be okay, but it doesn't really need. What need it? The elbow is more gluteus. Erectus spiny, trapezius, yeah? Um, you can't, you have to find the right tool for each area. Now, it would take time for you to, to realize, but I know that this area is quite tender, a lot of people, I don't know why. Okay? And then, the lateral side. Which, which structure is on the lateral side? on the outside of the thigh. Ilio, iliotibial band. Iliotibial band. It's not a muscle. It's a piece of connective tissue that link the knee, below the knee, to gluteus maximus. So on runners, is quite tight, on active people. Now, how do I do that? I need to turn the head, the leg, and then I should be quite low, because if not, you see what happened? How do I get into there? Well, there are a few ways. You can do it this way. You can use your finger knuckles a little bit. Can I go deeper? You look also the communication. I try to keep the communication to a minimum, so I, I don't say from one to ten how is your pain or something. Can I go deeper or how is it for you? Can I go deeper? Is it deep enough? Because that's what we want to know really. Okay, effleurage once in a while. Okay, quite simple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. similar to when it comes to uh, compression, you do the same thing. Right. So let's take then half an hour. So this this group would finish. I give you five minutes to prepare. This group would finish at five o'clock. Yeah, and the second group will finish.